I don't know who's hearing this, but you don't have time. This is something I hear from guys that I talk to all the time. You know, I'm asking guys all the time, uh, where are you with your fitness? Do you want to get in shape? Yeah, Finn, I want to get in shape. But not right now. It's not the priority right now. Because now I'm trying to get my job situation figured out. I'm trying to get this situation with my girl figured out. I'm trying to figure out how to finance a car. I'm trying to figure out how to move out of my parents' house. And I want to enjoy my life too. I want to enjoy these friendships. And you think you got all this time. You think you got all the time in the world to, to start taking your life seriously, to start taking your health and fitness seriously. I was just talking to my mom over the phone and, you know, I've been coaching her for the last six months. Apply for my coaching. Link is in the description. I've been coaching her for the last six months. You know, getting her in good shape. This is the first time she's taking strength training seriously. This is the first time she's taking working out seriously in her life. She's worked out before, been in decent shape. But, you know, when you're younger, it's easier. And this is the first time she's really had a, a mapped out workout program, a mapped out diet plan and a plan for success. And she wants to lose 15 pounds by her 60th birthday, which is in a couple months. And as we're mapping out the plan, she's starting to come to terms with what it's actually gonna take. Because up until this point, she hasn't been taking this stuff that seriously. So she's had all these things in her life, all these, you know, norms, all these habits. And she's realizing that it's going to take cutting those habits out. She's realizing that she's going to have to meal prep and what that's going to mean. Now she can't cook dinner every night for the family anymore. Now she's gonna have to start spending time away from all those friends sh she has that have unhealthy drinking and eating habits. She's realizing the sacrifices it's gonna take and now she's having a little bit of an existential crisis because she wants to be self-sufficient. She wants to be there for her kids. And she doesn't want anybody to have to take care of her as she gets into the, this last quarter of her life. But she also wants to keep these relationships, keep these people in her life, even though their habits rub off on her, even though she can't do both. So she's come to this bridge where she's gonna have to lean more towards one path or the other. And that's a tough fucking pill to swallow. She's realizing that she's gonna have to cut some of these people out of her life, even though she wants to keep all these people in her life as she gets older. She's realizing that her circle is gonna become smaller and smaller. She's realizing the sacrifices it's gonna take. And this is something I've been preaching on this fucking channel for a year, for a year. But you guys don't wanna fucking listen you want to keep thinking you have the time. It's your ego. You think you got all the time in the world. One day you're going to wake up and you're going to be 40, 50, 60 years old. 
and you're gonna realize that all these friends and all these habits that you wanted to keep in your life are not doing you good anymore. And now you gotta make the decision to cut them off for your better or to stay with them and go down with them, to sink with them. That's a tough fucking pill to swallow. That's a tough pill to swallow now. That's a tough pill to swallow 20 years down the line, 30 years down the line. But eventually, that fucking pill has to be swallowed. I don't think you guys get it. I don't think you fucking get it. I've been saying it again and again, all different types of ways, and you still don't want to get it. If you don't make if you don't make the sacrifice now, life is going to make a sacrifice for you. If you don't make the sacrifice to start taking your health seriously now, life is going to sacrifice your health later down the line. Life is going to force you to make a sacrifice or it's going to sacrifice for you. I don't think you guys fucking get it. This is something I've had to come to terms with in the fucking toughest of ways. I feel like I'm behind now. I'm only 24 and I, I already recognize people passing me up. People who made the sacrifices when they were younger and I fucking didn't. Cause when I got to college, I had been I had been making sacrifices. I was a pretty straight edge kid in high school. When I got to college, I thought it was time to let loose. I thought it was time to cash in, enjoy life. And I let my foot all the way off the gas, thinking that I had time because this is the time to enjoy my life. You know what that drove me to? That drove me to hard fucking times, my friends. That drove me to almost taking my own fucking life. I was mixing so many drugs. I was, I told, I've been told you this. I've told you guys this. And that one night, that one night where I took half a fucking fake perk I took a couple of Xanax. I was snoring cocaine. And I was drinking. And I ended up in the hospital that night. I would have never even been in that hospital. I would have been fucking dead if it weren't two people with me. And when I woke up that next morning, that was a fucking reality check. That told me, you don't have the fucking time. You don't have the time to mess around and do this. And when I came home from that, when I came home from the hospital, I remember having a dream where, a vivid ass dream. I think this was I'm not a religious person or anything, but I think this was something spiritual. I think this was God. I had this dream where it was my mom and me sitting in this restaurant and she was telling me We're in this together. We're in this till, until it's over. I can't have you leave before me. 
that was a that was one of the most vivid ass dreams i remember waking up from that that was a fucking reality check for me right after i almost fucking died i'm waking up next day from this dream and my mom's telling me in this dream that we're in this together and that she can't see me die no joke this was my fucking dream and the thing about my mom is that my mom has already seen one of her sons die and she can't see a second one she can't see a second one That, that whole experience told me we don't have time. I'm looking at myself now after all those college years where I fucked up and I'm so far behind. Where does that leave me? That leaves me in this one bedroom apartment, fucking a hundred degrees, no money. All because I didn't get my shit together I didn't take responsibility as a man while I was in college. I didn't figure out, and instead of instead of taking that time to fucking use drugs and fucking escape my life that way, I didn't take that time to face the harsh truths and figure out what the fuck I really wanted in life. And if I would have done that, I'd been I'd be miles ahead of where I am now, both in my career, in my business, and in my physique. I'd have been way ahead in my physique, believe it or not. People think, you know, my mom wants to get in, my mom wants to start taking her fitness more seriously now. And you know, as the older you get, the harder it gets because when you're a young man, your testosterone is booming. And when you're a young woman too, it's easier to get in shape. You know, your hormones and stuff. The, the older you get, the harder it gets, the more slow it is. And I'm only 24, but you know how long it took me to get this fucking body? It took me nine fucking years. It took me nine years. And you want to wait until you're 40 or 50? You want to wait until you're... You want to wait 10 years till you start taking your life seriously. Until you start taking your fitness seriously. And by then, it's, you're already too far behind. You're going to have to go all in at that point. Because you fucked off these last years. Now you got to make even more sacrifices. That's the way life works. You don't make the sacrifices while you're young. Life makes you make the fucking sacrifices. If you put those, if you put those decisions off, the further you put them off, the harder they're going to get to make. I put that decision off of whether I wanted, whether I wanted to do finance with my career. I put that decision off and off and off until I'm almost fucking going broke until I'm almost going homeless. If I had put it off another week or two, who knows where I would have been now. We keep putting those fucking decisions off, fellas. You know what it took me to get here right now? It took me nine fucking years of working out. Ups and downs. Bulks and cuts. And I'm in the prime of my fucking fitness. What's it going to take when you get older? You're never going to get there. You start working out when you're 32, you will never get to where I'm at. You may never even get, you may say, Finn, I don't want to look like you. You're too big. You may never even get to where you want to be. You may never, I 
I just want to get in shape. You may never get in shape. You don't realize what the fuck it takes. You don't realize what the fuck I had to do. You don't realize how many fucking hours I put in the gym. You don't realize how many fucking hours I put into this YouTube. Two videos a day. You don't realize the work I'm putting into my business right now. And if I don't make these decisions now, it's going to be so much harder to do them later. Because every fucking day compounds. Every win compounds. Every action compounds. You've been putting in the work towards your body for 15 years. Every single one of those days compounds. And then when the guy at 30 years old decides he wants to get into shape, his shit doesn't start to compound until he's almost 40. You guys don't understand. I missed out on so much because I didn't take those years. My mom missed out on so much because she didn't take those years. That's a tough fucking pill to swallow. That's the heart's fucking reality. There is no going back. Yeah, you can make the most out of it now, but there's no fucking going back. That's something people won't tell you. Because that, that, that right there will ruin some motherfuckers lives. Just knowing that they can't go back. But that's what the fucking reality of it is. People want to look at me and say I'm on steroids now. People want to ask me if I'm on steroids. Do you realize what it fucking took? That's compounding interest. Your efforts do the same thing. They compound every fucking day. Every fucking year. When you start to map out. When you, when you really start to map out how am I going to get from where I am now to where I want to be. And you put a plan in place. This is what I got to do today so that I win the day. And then this is what I got to do this week to win the week. And then if you win enough weeks, you win the month. And if you win enough months, you win the year. And if you win enough years, then you win fucking life. And when you start to map out that plan... You start to realize, oh, well, I really got to go hard now. Now. You want to look like a supermodel? You want to look like Captain America? But you don't realize you got to start that right fucking now. When you start to map out the plan, well, this is what I got to do to look like Captain America. And you start to realize, well... It gets slower and slower. And I got to start putting in the work. When you really lay out that plan, this is how I'm going to build my business. This is what I need to do today. And once you start executing on that, you realize how fucking valuable every day is. You realize how fucking long it takes. You realize that you can't be wasting time. And the only reason I figured this out is because I've come face to face with that. I've come face to face with the consequences of my actions. And a lot of you motherfuckers won't experience that. And that is why you will never learn. And you will never figure it out. You will never start fucking off your life. You will never stop smoking away your life. You will never stop drinking away your life. And then one day, you're going to find yourself in the position where you got to sacrifice everything or life 
it's going to push you where it wants you to go. Why the fuck you think I got this lone, this fucking lone wolf poster in here? Why do you think I fucking preach monk mode? Why do you think I fucking preach setting boundaries? Why do you think I preach doing it now? Going all in now. While you're young. Because one day you're going to wake up. And you won't be able to make the fucking choice. 